this very special teen live i'm one of the content creators here at glamorous and i can't wait to chat with all of you guys about the different um acne related issues that most of us face in our teens or even after our teens sometimes that what i'm going through right now a little bit but um let's talk about it let's clear up some of the questions that people have about acne let's see who all have joined in Mridula, hi Mridula, hi Satya, hi Khalida. Thank you for joining me. So I'm going to pretty much start with telling you guys about some of the stuff I've dealt with regarding acne. And most of the times I've realized that acne, as much as you can um, run from it, it's something that is going to like run behind you in life. And it's one of the most normal things. Every person goes through it. So there's no need to feel super, super down about it. And uh, it's going to heal up at some point. So let's, let's, uh, I also guys send in your questions. Uh, I'm going to answer some of your questions today and talk all about what's the deal with acne. So let's see if we have some questions the best remedy so i've come across a lot of different remedies and um i personally have found ice cubes and a cold compress that kind of a thing helping a lot because um acne is a lot of times caused due to like internalized body heat so that is something that can um, help you a lot. The best moisturizer for teen skin. Honestly, uh, a moisturizer that won't clog your pores is like your basic one that you absolutely need. Just um, make sure your moisturizer isn't very heavy on your skin. It needs to hydrate without clog clogging pores and you're good to go with that. So let me talk about some of the reasons why acne even occurs in the first place. So there's a lot of different reasons, but clogged pores are absolutely the number one reason. And the basically the white heads and the ones that are surrounded with these red dots that you see, this is generally caused due to um, your pores being clogged and the white head that comes up is the skin kind of trying to propel out all of the oils that are stuck within and that is why you get these bumps and redness and whiteheads um next there are some wrong products that can also cause a reaction on your skin i've noticed um using an acid too frequently has caused my skin earlier to break out that is some deal with it commonly happens but uh, you need to kind of make sure you're exfoliating not too often exfoliate only like twice in a week and i think uh, if you have sensitive skin just wash it or, or exfoliate once a week uh, let's take a few more questions can I use any serums for acne or dark spots? So uh, for acne, I think um, a niacinamide serum is really good. Like I have tried using a niacinamide based serum for a while. I was using the Dermaco one and it really helped with uh, reducing the excess sebum that is being produced in my skin. So that did in turn reduce um, the amount of clogged pores that caused the acne so i think you can try that out for dark spots my holy grail would be vitamin c um the body shop vitamin c moisturizer is still my favorite one i definitely still use it for uh dark spots um does foundation make skin make oily skin more oily so if you're noticing that your skin is looking greasier after applying foundation it may be because the foundation itself is not really suiting your skin type. If you have oily skin, you would go for a matte foundation. And also remember to set it. 
so once you do these things you can prevent excess oil formation on your already oily skin or you could go one step further and also use a mattifying moisturizer or a mattifying primer before you do it and if you're talking mattifying moisturizers i think you guys know i'm going to mention matte melt um this is actually the next thing, next thing i was going to talk about for oily skin that constantly gets acne especially this is like the best product but not only for oily skin like i don't have super super oily skin but matte melt is kind of the best consistency for uh, a moisturizer that is not too heavy on your skin and it can make your skin feel really calm and soothe like especially around this area where i have a lot of breakouts right now it's really helping there so um how to vanish red spots so the red very red red spots that is a lot of your sensitive kind of skin shining through the redness does um happen when your acne is super super fresh like when your acne is just popped up one day prior or something like that that time you can really see a lot of those red spots and you can use a spot treatment over this or simply aloe gel and it can really help you with reducing that super redness now let's talk about solutions we've talked about why acne is caused and let's talk about what are the general uh, ways to identify why your acne is occurring and some solutions so a uh, skin fasting is a method that can be really helpful for you to figure out what is your what is the cause of your acne and this will really help you figure out if your acne is being caused due to a certain product so skin fasting is basically just washing your face with water in the morning and night and not applying any other product over this and um this itself will kind of let your skin uh, normalize it will let your natural oils take over and this will help you identify if you have been using a certain product that hasn't been working out for you because when you do this and your skin does clear up then you will know that this product doesn't suit me so uh, that is one method and i would actually suggest that whenever you do attempt skin fasting try not to go into direct sunlight too much because you're going to be doing this with no sunscreen also so um next is a uh, diet is also definitely an important point i have found that my acne usually does happen due to a, a millennial diet i would like to call it that's full of um junk food and snacks but i think cutting out certain things like sugar or dairy in your diet would also kind of help you narrow down if your acne is caused due to diet and honestly it's been really hard and i have to kind of really uh, force myself but because i'm having a little outburst right now i might just cut out a uh, sugar or dairy and figure out if that is what is causing um the breakouts um next thing is using a spot treatment now for spot treatments i have tried out a lot of things in the past i have tried out a um, toothpaste as a teenager which was a very 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 bad decision let's just say that i was literally dealing with burnt skin my skin had turned red and then there was also like a brown uh, kind of a what do you call it a scab had formed and it was just pretty awful so definitely don't use toothpaste guys the next thing i started uh, trying out was the um, was just like tea tree oil and aloe gel but then that started getting a little too strong for my skin and a little inconvenient to make it every time um i have also been trying out the mario badescu drying lotion and uh, it was 
it did help me uh, shrink the pimples but it was really harsh on my skin like if you guys have noticed certain acne or uh, treatments that maybe dermatologists provide or so, some over the top treatments can be very harsh on your skin you can dry it out also so after all of this i have been using one that i think is uh, the holy grail for me right now and that is definitely super spotless by uh, glamorous and it's right here if you guys have not tried this overnight pimple formula it is it has honestly like changed the way i see acne breakouts because i don't have to worry about finding a treatment that's not going to burn my skin finding a treatment that's going to be okay for sensitive skin because i'm sure a lot of you watching have sensitive skin and like the pain that comes with pimples is also very real and sometimes these over the top treatments worse in that but it doesn't happen with super spotless so i'm just going to show you guys how i generally apply it which is just dotting it on wherever i have a breakout and i just dab it into my skin it also dries completely transparent because i'm i'm at the glamorous studio right now and i'm going to walk out after this live and i'm not going to have dots on my face this treatment is going to completely uh, dissolve into my skin i've also used super spotless on just like pimples that you know are about to come just like red bumps or just rash like um rash like build ups uh okay hormonal changes so there are a bunch of questions about hormonal changes and i think that's the number one uh cause right now for teens and even when you're past your teens hormonal problems can be um a big cause because it does change your body's internal working and it can have like an imbalance in your body that can cause the heat or the um your your hormones to act up in the way of acne so um i would definitely recommend taking another look at your diet at this point when you're facing hormonal acne also if it's too bad definitely definitely reach out to a dermatologist it can really help you find um the right path for um your acne journey so there's a question that's very very important here what should we avoid so acne can pop up and you can go into a complete overdrive and start doing everything possible to take away your pimple take away your acne marks but at this point guys i would definitely ask you to avoid using very 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 harsh treatments that you just feel are going to instantly take your pimple off like toothpaste we talked about this also be very wary of using essential oils like um lavender oil or tea tree oil that does take your care of your acne but if you use it directly it's going to be very harsh for your uh, skin it might burn it might dry it out but uh, make sure you don't go with this these harsh treatments um can we use ice on the face so there's definitely a lot of uh, conflicting um remarks on this particular treatment but i have generally found that ice directly on your skin isn't as awful as you guys think it is because using it on your skin for very short intervals it's going to be just fine it's not going to burn your skin when you use it uh in with a gentle hand and for very very short intervals especially when you're not using just water ice cubes you can use aloe vera ice cubes that uh while you apply aloe vera ice cubes it's not going to be super harsh on your skin the way water just water ice cubes might feel so i uh, have been using aloe vera ice cubes i found that that helped me a lot with reducing inflammation so you guys could try it out if your skin is extremely sensitive to icing just do it for less than 2 minutes and it won't be um, 
it won't harm your capillaries uh there was a question here face shaving or a uh, face waxing if you are someone that's already facing acne i would uh, not suggest face waxing only for the reason that it might be too harsh and it might cause uh, your skin to be a little sensitive and act and get very red so instead of uh waxing you can go for shaving now when you have acne prone skin it's very important to shave your face really carefully you need to use completely super 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 clean tools and make sure you are wiping your razor every time you stroke a few strokes because you don't want that bacteria moving around all uh, over your face so make sure your tools are really sanitary throughout So there's a question by Khalida and she's asking what are your views on salicylic acid for acne. So salicylic acid is definitely a most well known acne fighting ingredient but it can be a little strong for certain people. So um what I actually really like to do is uh like substitute natural remedies when talking about salicylic acid. Tomatoes are like the one of the biggest natural sources of salicylic acid and what i like to do is make a mask of tomatoes and pomegranates the pomegranate seed pulp the mixture of these two is really good because it helps active acne thanks to the salicylic acid in the tomatoes but it also helps reduce the acne marks i know you, a lot of you guys are asking about marks listen to me this uh, mask with tomatoes and pomegranates is going to help your marks as well because pomegranates help reduce some of the sun damage and they are antioxidants so they fight free radicals and basically these free radicals all they do is kind of just attack your skin and cause a little signs of aging and all of that to pop up so you can solve um you can solve these issues with this mask i really like using this um mask so um also a big reason for acne is germs like your germs and bacteria are literally going to go in settle in your pores they are just going to um decide that i will live here now and then uh just give rise to more acne so what i would suggest is clean your bed sheets and like change your bed sheets and pillow cases like uh, at least 2 to 3 times a week um i have switched completely to satin uh bed sheets and like pillow covers it's really good for your hair as well it won't like reduce hair breakage overnight and it will uh, help your skin cuz i see i'm a person that sleeps like this on the pillow like i'm literally my entire face is buried in my pillow let me know if you do the same uh if you do the same it's going to um really cause problems if you're using a cotton uh pillow case cuz it tends to trap your germs so do all of this and it'll help with less germs transferring onto your face also don't touch your acne like your fingers have a lot of oil deposits that are just going to combine with oil deposits on your skin and in your pores and it's just going to become a full khichdi of oil deposits so avoid that um there was a question in here about matte melt asking if you can use it on normal skin so definitely you can use matte melt on normal skin i mean i would honestly say you could use matte melt on dry skin too because while it does stay matte and avoid um excess oil and clogging pores it doesn't dry out your skin at all like this is not going to make your skin feel tight like certain uh, products do and it's just going to hydrate your skin without the oiliness shining through so you can use this for any skin type um what skin care product should we use um as skin care what natural remedies actually work so uh, i think one natural remedy that i have really like adopted into my life is a green tea toner like i'm generally not a very big fan of toners but if you have 
a very acne prone very oily skin a toner can do you some good because it'll help take off excess oil excess dirt it'll just super clean your face and what i do is i just take normal green tea i let it cool i put it into a spray bottle and i use it as a toner it's literally that simple a lot of people are asking where can i get these products so guys all you need to do is head over to glamorous.com and you can get super spotless you can get matte melt you can get all of our other products and i'm sure you will love them <laughs> okay let's look for uh some questions now can a 17 year old girl shave her face yes i think you can definitely go ahead and shave your face um honestly guys face shaving shouldn't be a controversial skin issue because honestly um what face shaving does is it just takes off dead skin and hair it doesn't do anything else your um the worst thing that can happen with face shaving is that you might accidentally cut yourself and if you keep going in very very gentle soft strokes you are not going to cut your face you're going to be able to successfully shave your face and also take your dead skin off so in the long run face shaving is actually going to help you get clear skin because it's going to remove dead skin it's the dead skin that is in like later going to clog your pores it's not going to do any of this and honestly it helps with makeup application your face feels so smooth and it really evens your skin tone like i see a lot of you guys asking about your upper lip looking dark and a uh, biggest reason for your upper lip looking dark is because you have little hairs on your lips you can see my upper lip right now uh, i do have a couple of hair we are all human with hair so you can see it and i feel like uh, when you do have hair on your upper lip area it looks even darker because for us indian women look at the top of my head jet black hair so that is going to kind of create an issue when that jet black hair is right here so um face shaving has like changed my life i am super uh, happy with that so uh there's another question what should we apply after taking a bath um i think after you bathe a uh, general body lotion is a very good thing to do because it's going to hydrate your entire body and a uh, face moisturizer too if you are uh, going to right away wash your face so yeah um okay do you do you have any recommendations for skincare products that teens can afford as well um so there are honestly guys there are a lot of very affordable products in the market right now you can go for a lot of them like i mean let's just let me just see the ones i have in front of me right now mac melt is a great moisturizer especially for teen skin because it's going to control your excess oil and it costs only 345 rupees and this little tube it has it has like pretty much been with me for 2 months and i have not finished it yet and 345 for a moisturizer like that is a really good price and next is super spotless that costs a little bit more at 445 but this whole tube it i think it can last you a whole year because you're not going to apply it as a moisturizer you're going to spot treat with it right so you can go ahead and get these as affordable moisturizers and uh, affordable products and in other affordable products that i really like uh if you want a charcoal peel off mask i i have actually just mentioned this in uh another teen beauty video that's coming out tomorrow in fact or in a few days it is by kaya and it's under 500 rupees and it's really good so you can give that one a try as well um next question I have tiny bumps on my forehead and all over my face how can I get rid of it if this is milia that um you're dealing with there is a video dedicated to milia and how to solve it right here on the glamorous channel you can check it out after this video you will not have any more questions about milia after that it's super thorough um 
does cinnamon and honey prevent pimples so honey is actually a really good uh, spot treatment it can get a little messy though it's very sticky and it like you know it doesn't really melt into your skin so it is a bit um, bit of a inconvenience to use honey as a spot treatment but i don't think i would suggest cinnamon if you have a uh, sensitive skin uh, or at least do a patch test first because as you know cinnamon uh, does burns very slightly so make sure you patch test but um cinnamon actually is packed with like benefits um like anti acne benefits but when i have used it before i have always done a patch test and uh, luckily it is not reacted badly but whenever you're dealing with natural remedies and natural skin care i would always always suggest that you do a patch test first products for dry skin acne oh this is a great question because dry skin also gets acne like we cannot forget about this every skin gets acne not only oily skin so uh, i think the mask that i had mentioned is really going to help you with your um, acne on dry skin also especially the aloe vera ice cubes are going to be super helpful for dry skin because aloe vera is going to hydrate your skin like it's going to make your skin feel so cool it's going to be really good and um you can do that for skin with acne on dry skin um going to look for a few more questions now and i'm actually while i look for them i'm going to mention some more diy's that i really like there is a exfoliation diy that can be really good for acne marks i know everyone that has acne also has acne marks i know it all too well guys like the boat that you guys are sitting in i am rowing it right now i am fully uh, understanding everything you guys are going through um acne marks you know let's just talk about acne marks acne marks get worse with your skin's pigmentation getting darker and that's when your dark brown acne marks appear and melanin is one of the biggest reasons behind this so i would like really tell you like wear sunscreen especially if you're going to go out i honestly i wear it like daily even if i'm indoors i wear it i know a lot of people would prefer to only wear it when they're outdoors but if you're someone that is very prone to tanning or very prone to your acne marks getting very visible use sunscreen um and when you look for gel based sunscreens they don't clog your pores uh look for non comedogenic sunscreen i actually have a gel sunscreen right here it's this um lotus uv screen matte gel um sunscreen i'll just show you guys it like it has it looks like a cream but it's it has like a gel consistency you see it's gone it doesn't like obviously it doesn't have any white cast um so you guys can try it out and yeah just a second my hands are a little sunscreeny yeah okay um the next thing about acne marks is exfoliation but and that's a big but don't go overboard with exfoliation like i know it can feel like amazing once you exfoliate your skin and it can feel like oh my skin is literally falling off the dead skin is going my new skin is coming so let's do this daily no don't do it daily exfoliate only once a week control yourself i know you want clear skin to come right away but slow and steady is the way to go exfoliate only once or max twice a week and the way i really like to do it is either with a um chemical exfoliation which is i think my preferred choice because it is much more gentle on your skin like i mean a lot of people have this uh, misconception that using glycolic acid or something like that is going to be more um is going to be like it's going to affect your skin but it's really not it's going to be much more gentle on your skin as opposed to uh, walnut scrubs or any physical exfoliation i feel if you have acne definitely avoid physical exfoliation because it is going to like it's going to rub against your skin it's going to create like micro tears and it's just going to trouble your already um bothered pimple prone skin 
so what i do is i make a mask of pineapple pulp and yogurt and these two ingredients are really good for soothing your skin that's what the yogurt does and for uh, exfoliating your dead skin and also working on acne is pineapple so these are some of my tips for acne marks so let me take a last few questions and then um i will end the live so there's a okay body acne is really troublesome i have back acne and i don't know what products to use so honestly um this is a big struggle for sure because hormonal acne and acne as such can pop up anywhere on your body especially on your back uh i think honestly the number one thing to do is get body slush if you've not heard about body slush it is an amazing mask that contains glycolic acid it contains um it contains rasool clay and it's really really good for cooling and relaxing your body and honestly i use it on my back i do get back pain from time to time and my actually my number one issue is is little little brown spots on my back i mean let me know if you guys also have like small brown spots on your back but i have been using body slush maybe for a month now once a week and i have actually noticed the brown spots getting a little lighter in color and i am really happy with uh, that um what are your opinions about rose water toners cuz i've heard they soothe skin and a cheaper substitute for kama ayurveda so um rose water is honestly it's it's the most abundant ingredient in nature you don't need to settle for kama ayurveda you can simply make your own rose water at home we have countless videos on how to make your own rose water like you just need rose petals and some water and um you can use this homemade rose water and it will soothe your skin it will take away excess oiliness it will be really really good for you for sure um let's see uh let's look for a super fun last question <laughs> um oh we actually have deepa in the studio here oh we have we have shruti in the studio here today um uh, let's i think that'll be the best way to end the live with a guest appearance super cameo <laughs> so i was just on my last question shruti Hi everyone. <laughs> I was not supposed to be on this live but I am. The surprise visit. <laughs> I haven't even touched her. Oh. But it's okay. And this is the natural beauty shining wow, through. Wow, we have so many people. Yeah, we have a really lot good. of questions also. So, I think uh, a biggest question that I was seeing mm-hmm. was about acne marks and bumps. Okay. So I know you have recently changed up your skincare. Like guys, I had just shot with Shruti. I did her makeup, and I think I couldn't stop talking about how smooth and bumpy your skin has become. So I'm not even boasting about this, <laughs> but uh, ever since I've been using Dream Skin, which is a product by Glamorous, and it's available on Glamorous.com. So ever since I've been using Dream Skin, it has worked wonders for my skin, and my skin type, as you know, Moana is like mm-hmm. super sensitive. Yeah. Like we both have very sen- sensitive skin types, and this particular facial oil has worked so well. I just use it at night, and that to one two drops, and that's it. And I use my facial massage. The roller. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the other thing that I'd like to mention is that I had spot acne. for some time especially like since last year you know since we had a lot of lifestyle mm-hmm. changes we were at home for a long time so i think the skin went in to shock like, yeah. like what the hell just happened? like the rest yeah. of us <laughs> so i started getting hormonal acne and ever since i've used it, oh we have it right mm-hmm. here i have talked um, a lot about super, super spotless, spotless today it's mm-hmm. a non drying acne gel so uh, i ever since i started using it on my acne i suddenly uh, felt like it reduced yeah. to a great extent and uh, all the redness went away immediately yes, so definitely. the pimple didn't pop which was the you know good part about yeah. it otherwise that's what happens like you know when the pimple pops it leads to an acne scar then the acne yeah. scar takes another it's mm, a very long the whole it's a very ordeal. long uh, hate yeah. story yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i think i mean uh, ever since i've been using these two products mm-hmm. specifically dream skin and super spotless my skin has changed considerably like i 
have not touched my face up in yeah. like six she has hours. just entered the room yeah and i didn't <laughs> want to be on this i didn't want to steal the limelight but now i am here so i love this product guys <laughs> it's really life changing get it at glamorous.com yeah Enough okay for today. okay i'm going to leave bye guys bye shruti okay so uh how fun we just randomly met shruti and found out her skin secrets so i think we've talked a lot about acne and um i've given a lot of lifestyle tips a lot of skin tips a lot of product recommendations and uh i hope you guys found this really helpful and for everyone else that's asking for more product recommendations for teens especially uh like in your younger years where you're looking for the affordable products uh just stay tuned cuz very soon there's a teen beauty video dropping all about affordable uh products that you uh can get for your teen acne prone sensitive all of these problems are discussed so make sure you check that one out and thank you so much for being live with me today and all of you had amazing questions and it was just it was just so fun hanging out with you so thank you for watching and i will see you on the next live bye guys